Matthew Stegge here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines. Just giving you a quick um, missionary update. And I'm actually going to update you for the last two weeks. Um, I did not have a, an update last week. I was actually feeling a little bit under the weather. But, um, you know, so I'm going to give you a two-week update here. So we had uh, 244 salvations uh, from the past two weeks. Um, included in that, we did have a soul winning marathon um, just one week ago on Monday. And, um, you know, the receptiveness here in the Philippines has really kind of, you know, oscillated depending on what stage of COVID we're at or what stage of variants and things like that and how restrictive the government is if people are out in parks and stuff like that. It seems like right now we're at a stage where it's a little bit less receptive, less people at parks. It's a little bit more restrictive. People seem to have more fear. I personally haven't been paying attention to the news about COVID for quite a while, so I just kind of hear various things and, and see various things. But it seems like people are a little bit more fearful than before. But, um, you know, it's still great. We're, we're doing lots of soul winning, getting people saved, and, um, you know, things are going over, overall very well. And so in terms of sermons that I preached, um, you know, this weekend I preached in uh, uh, Psalm 23 as we're going back verse by verse, chapter by chapter through the book of Psalms now on Sundays. And I also preached on denying reality. And that was from Psalm uh, 14, I think was my main text. But denying reality, I was just talking about how various people in their lives can just deny the truth. And the Bible talks about lying against the truth. And it says, lie not against the truth. It's actually something a saved person can do. And we see atheists that do that when they deny the existence of God, when it's obvious that God is real. And they just choose not to believe. They say in their heart, I just refuse to believe in God. You see, sometimes unsaved people are like this when you preach the gospel to them. And, you know, the, you show them the Bible verses and then they just refuse to admit that they're wrong and just believe what the Bible says. You see a lot of, uh, you know, saved Baptists that refuse to believe in doctrines like the post-trib rapture, even though you show it, it's immediately after the tribulation. They just deny the truth, deny reality. But even us that are trying to serve God, um, we can also be guilty of denying reality with when the message of God is preached to us or we read something in the Bible and we just refuse to make the changes. When it's obvious we're guilty, we messed up, it's really a matter of pride that we're guilty of. And so this is something all of us can do. I showed the example of King Asa, who was a great king, and yet he ends up arresting the man of God in the Bible when he gets rebuked and so it's something we can all be guilty of so anyways overall though things are going well at our churches um we do have a visitor competition in manila here in september so um we we had some visitors this uh past sunday so that was exciting and uh we, we've been holding off on this visitor competition because uh things are kind of strict and they they've been strict for a while and so I, I was just kind of waiting for everything to open up but it just seems like you know that's you know, who knows if that's ever really going to fully happen. I really don't know. Because I'd like to do this as a yearly competition, maybe every September, um, just kind of a, a team visitor competition. It's, it's really exciting, and it uh, we'll have an activity coming up in September. We also had a visitor in uh, Pampanga as well. So overall, things are going well. Just continue to pray for our ministry and just uh, pray that things will continue to be open. I know they're, they're talking about various restrictions. Um, you know, more things that they might end up doing. Uh, they're talking about the, the Mu variant. I'm not sure if they're talking about that worldwide, but it, it's a big thing over here, I guess. So I guess we'll see what happens. But anyways, uh, just continue to pray for our ministry, and thank you, and God bless.